Um, so there's little fights about, you know, God and the Pledge of Allegiance and God on our Which is wrong. The Pledge of Allegiance should have God in it. Mm -hmm. It was written that way. And if you don't like it, then... Don't say it. You, you like censorship. Yeah, don't say it then. Then don't say it. I mean, don't don't push your And I feel the same thing with Mark Twain when he um, refers to John as N-word John. It's part of history. It's part of history. I don't think it should be taken out. How can we, how can we, how can That's we... how they used to direct them. And how would we make mistakes of the past yeah. if we don't know what the past looks like? If exactly. If we censor the past. The past shouldn't be censored, and you would think with logic and reason... You want the, not one want would know that you want the complete truth and not just half truths. Not half truths. Because you know as much as I do, half truths are lies. Shannon, this this point in the middle of your very long video. Um, it hurt. Seriously, at, at that point in your video, I was thinking um, the reason why it shouldn't be one nation under God is obviously it's one nation undereducated. Because, <sighs> holy shit, his name is Jim. Okay? The, the phrase nigger Jim was what got that book banned from a lot of high schools recently and throughout my lifetime. It's been paraded around in the collection of banned books right next to Catch-22 and Of Mice and Men, you know? <sighs> wow. So go read The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn again. It's not John. It's Jim. Also, um... On the subject of half-truths, um, apparently you don't know the rest of the history of the Pledge of Allegiance and when the words under God were added to it. It wasn't till the 1950s the Pledge of Allegiance precedes that in a more pure form without those terms. You see, there was a movement of radical conservative Christians and evangelical monsters that decided to demonize everyone who was not like them. You know, it, there was this mix of McCarthyism and just outright bigotry, and you really do not have a, a good grasp of history. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box, okay? But, just to give you an idea of how recent in history the addition of Under God was to the Pledge of Allegiance. When Porky Pig read the Pledge of Allegiance, he was drawn in color. Okay? I did pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You want the complete truth and... Not just half-truths. Not half-truths. Because you know as much as I do, half-truths are lies.